hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel let me introduce myself quickly my name is pooja shekhar i'm a fashion designer and an illustrator so in this video we are going to discuss how to draw an outfit using a print which we have created in our previous video so i'm running a series on my channel where i'll be explaining you all about autodesk sketchbook an application which you can use on your android phone without any subscription so to understand this video i would suggest you to go back and watch the last five videos and if possible at least try to watch the first video and the last the third and the fourth video because in first part i have explained the basics of autodesk sketchbook and in the fourth and the fifth part we have created a motif and then we have created a print using autodesk sketchbook so it would be easy for you to understand this video if you have covered that let's start today's video so as you can see i have already created a croquis here and now we need to select symmetric option so what this tool does is uh, whatever we draw on one side the same will be uh, replicated on the other side so i am trying to adjust the line to the exact center to the croquis so that whatever i dra draw on the uh, right side of the croquis the same will be drawn on the left side of the croquis so as you can see i try to uh, draw something here so the same thing uh, we can see on the other side so we are good to go i have selected the next layer this is the very important thing we need to do and then i'm trying to draw something here so basically i want to draw a lehenga choli for this because the print which we have created is quite indian it's very traditional motif sort of a print so i am thinking of a very heavy lehenga i'm using pen tool here so in symmetry we can use pen tool so whatever we draw on the one side same will be uh, drawn on the other side automatically and um, i am also using eraser here so to erase out the lines which i don't want and uh, eraser also works in symmetry so whatever i am erasing here will be erased out on the other side also so we do not need to worry about matching the both sides here because we are using this symmetry option whatever we are drawing on the one side the same will be uh, repeated on the other side so we do not need to worry like if uh, it is matching or not so now i am trying to draw waist belt of the lehenga so okay with this like i have drawn the sill out of the lehenga and now let's start drawing the blouse so for the blouse i'm thinking of a drop shoulder off shoulder uh, blouse uh, like a very gathered blouse so i'm just trying to uh, draw the sill out here so as you can see i'm using pen tool with a black color a bra black colored brush so uh, the croquis is not helping me to you know see like if the line which i have drawn is my line or the croquis line so what i am doing is i have reduced the opacity of the croquis so that i can uh, the croquis can guide me without any disturbance so by this we have completed the sill out uh, of the both lehenga and the blouse so now the fun part begins we need to add the print which we have created from the previous video so for that we need to save that print in the gallery and now we just need to click on add photo in the uh, autodesk sketchbook and then after clicking on add photo we need to select whatever the picture we want to add so i am selecting the print which we have created and uh, i am adjusting the size because i want to cover the whole lehenga with the print i want a complete printed lehenga so uh, the print is not covering just everything. to check so if i have covered all the same the print lehenga or, or not i have the reduced the opacity so that i can see like look if uh, some make it just need to be done print. i have reduced now the we are size of the print so because i am I selecting to eraser tool to completely. erase out the extra part of the print so after selecting eraser i am selecting symmetric option again because you can see uh, like let me start erasing out the uh, and i click the hide option on the key uh, layer because i, I want to I erase want to, uh, the get part which is other than so the lehenga so i am erasing out the extra part other than the lehenga here so since we are using symmetric option so whatever i am erasing on the on this side of the lehenga the same will be erased out on the other side of the lehenga so uh, this symmetry works only when we have created something on symmetric now since we have created the lehenga using symmetric option then only we are able to use this tool in every stage uh, and also i have created the croquis also using symmetric option that's why we are able to we were able to create uh, the lehenga that easily so once we start using symmetric like everything goes easily because we do not need to worry on the other side we just need to uh, start doing things on one side and the automatic uh, the thing will be repeated on the other side and uh, as you can see i am erasing out all the extra part here and now i am sharing a tip with you all so instead of erasing all uh, by manually so you can use select option and then select out the part whichever you want to erase and then click on clear option 
so like this you can just erase it like very easily and uh, this doesn't work in symmetry so we need to do it uh, in the both side so you just need to select whichever the part you do not need and then after selecting you need to click on the layer and then select clear option so by doing this step you can easily erase out all the uh, part without you know using the eraser option manually so this will make our uh, illustration journey very easy and very uh, it will help us you know create things faster so this is one tip i wanted to share with you all and uh, like this i am almost erasing out all the extra part of the print i'm clearing out the things here okay with this we have cleared out all the extra print and uh, let's just take the uh, layer down so that i can see the outlines clearly so yeah i sent the layer to down and yeah the print adding print part is done now let's add color to the blouse so i need this particular uh, maroon brown sort of a color so i have used pick color option and then i have picked that color and using add color option i have added the color to the blouse okay now let's see just how does it look okay so we are not done yet like we need to add a more element to the outfit we need to add folds and the shadows to the outfit so for that i'm again using the symmetric option and i'm using airbrush i usually prefer using airbrush for the uh, folds part because it kind of add a, a depth and a shadow effect to the outfit so you can see like um, i'm using airbrush and uh, drawing at the edge of the garment as it it creates a sort of a shadow effect and uh, as you can see this is the different that it makes and uh, you do not need to use uh, this symmetric option always because the shadows not need not to be the same on both side so i'm just trusting my instinct and adjusting the sizes and uh, then just adding the shadows here and there so uh, this is up to you like however the uh, however you want to create your outfit you just need to do it so i'm just um, changing the opacity i'm just changing the brush size and adding whatever i feel like adding here so th this is completely up to you i like to add a lot of details in the outfit because uh, it kind of elevates the outfit and it makes it look a more realistic uh, like i don't like the illustrations being flat um, since we are not creating any flat sketches so to add a kind of element in your outfit you need to add these folds and uh, the shadows so the shadow part to the lehenga is done and now for the blouse for the blouse we can use the symmetric because uh, i want to keep uh, both sides similar because i want to show a certain gathers uh, created on the shoulder part of the blouse so i am using the same airbrush tool i'm just adjusting the size and the opacity of the airbrush tool and uh, just drawing the gather type of an effect here okay so with this i have completed adding shadows to both blouse and the lehenga of the outfit now let me increase the opacity of the croquis so that i can see like okay now everything looks perfect uh, the next thing is i want to add hairstyle or hair part to this uh, croquis so i have selected one more layer i have added one more layer and selected symmetric option and uh, selecting pen tool and trying to draw hair here uh, like whatever the hairstyle goes with this lehenga okay so after drawing the outline of the hair i'm using add color option and i have added black color and then again i have selected symmetric and then i have reduced the opacity of the pen tool and i'm selecting a brown shade here to add a highlights to the hair so i'm trying to draw something like a hair strokes so that like the hair part also looks a bit realistic i don't want to um, add a black flat kind of a hair because like we have added a lot of character in the outfit in the croquis so i don't want to keep the hair very simple so i am adding this uh, technique here so that it will it will make the hair look a much more realistic than just a flat black hair okay guys with this we have completed creating an outfit using the print which we have created so i hope this video was useful for you guys i hope this video was informative for you all and uh, i hope you were able to understand whatever i was trying to explain in this video and if you have any doubts or any uh, questions regarding this then you can definitely reach out to me you can comment on this video or you can just uh, dm me on my instagram i'll leave my instagram uh, id on the screen or in the description box uh, i would request you to please like this video it will be very encouraging for me to create more of such videos and i'll be bringing more and more applications and more 
more and more easy techniques for you to understand fashion illustration and enjoy the fashion illustration journey so don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching